What is up guys, Operation Darkstorm. Today, I'm gonna take on the normal leech first. So I'll start with about, oh yeah, I'll take an engineer. Place him like, I think, uh, here. That looks good. So Benjamin, I will place him on the uh, top right because I don't expect to be building any farms over here. So like, just to be safe. On round nine, I will buy a larger service area in the middle of the round. I think now is a good time to get oversized nails. So now we can pop a lot of, oh, let's also get pin right now. And yeah, double gun I'll get later, I, I do want to get the um, first farm down, so... Round 14, I'm putting down my first farm, so I'm gonna go bottom left, uh... Yep, that is just fine. Okay, so one thing over here, I am on round 16 right now, but what I did is, I went back to the home screen and reset, so... I think what I've noticed is, the reason why they've added this sort of thing where, you know, if you, you know, home reset and, you know, you come back to the game, and, you know, you have to actually select player for the balloons to come, I think part of that function is actually to, you know, if you want to, you know, pause the game and take your time to, you know, do whatever you want with your defenses between rounds, similar to how it works in normal games, I think they're actually letting you do that this time, and I'm actually, I actually like that a lot, because that's one of the things I did, I really didn't like about the boss battles, that, you know, you cannot stop the game in any way, you know, you just have to keep playing, you cannot, you know, stop between rounds to, you know, do stuff with your defenses or anything like that, but then it looks like you know they've basically fixed that right now. So I'm I'm really happy about that. Second farm coming up. I'm actually gonna go on the right side for this one. Um, I actually wanted to you know place both farms on the right initially. I mean I you know as you know per my plan, I kind of forgot and I placed one on the left side. But really it's not gonna matter. You will see why. I'm gonna go for the double gun now, because we are leaking a couple lives, I know it's not really a big deal, but then I like to try no lives lost, no lives lost if possible. Okay, so now I have two 200 farms down. My plan is once I get, I think about 1700k spare cash, no, not k, 1700 spare cash, I'm gonna sell one of these farms, maybe this one, and get the other up to a marketplace, which is something which I, I will admit I learned from uh, Phoenix Killer. And I believe that it is, you know, a little more efficient than, you know, just waiting for a marketplace. Okay, yeah, but that, that's good. Um, I know it's not, not, not really a big deal, you don't have to do it, but then if it's, if it's a simple move that, you know, does get you a little bit forward uh, in cash, then you know, it's like, why not, right? So, anyways, Camel Balloon, um, because I like to not be wet, not, not leak wives, I'm gonna place down a Dark Monkey, just get it up to Enhanced Eyesight. For the lead balloons on round 28, um, place it on an alchemist, you know, can go like somewhere over here. Um, set it to strong, just to be safe. And that should be enough, we're, we're gonna go straight for our second uh, marketplace now. Okay, so round 33, I'll get this marketplace first, but then what I'm gonna do is once I have the money, I will place down a ninja, because I'm gonna be using at least one sticky bomb, if not two, the strategy, so I believe this is a good location, you know, you know, I, you know as a ninja, you know, for right now but then also for uh, the boss when it comes out, so. Okay, round 36, we have regrow greens, they're kind of pushing through, so I'm just gonna grab a crossbow um, for now. And yeah, we're just gonna continue, you know, I'm gonna get my maybe one or two more farms, and then well, we're gonna prepare for the boss. Right, so Sticky Bomb is doing great damage right now. Uh, we lost one life because of that, you know, ghost bloom, but then that's fine because, you know, we have Benjamin to help us regenerate our lives. Um, I will put down the second sticky bomb right now. I want to be safe because these moabs are weird. They scare me. So, flash right now. Um, have we gotten this? Come on. Huh, thank goodness. Okay, here we go. Second sticky bomb. I'm going to put down my next farm over here. And now basically we're, we're switching up. You know, we, we, got, we, you know, we got these efficient, you know, marketplaces for good quality early game farming. But now what we want to go for is our late game farming. So that's going to be, um, you know, all those banana, banana storage facilities, a monkeyopolis, banana central, you know, all those you know, usual Bonaria stuff. So, so I'm just farming right now. I've gotten four um, of these banana plantations so far. Maybe I'll get one more and then I'll go for the banana storage facilities. But I do want to point out over here, and this is important, that you don't want to like, sell your sticky bombs or anything. They're really useful because... We're actually, we've actually been getting a number of um, fortified Moabs between round 40 and 50, um, which are 
not exactly coming from the boss in the sense they were coming out after you know we destroyed the Blunarius. So it looks like you know for the purpose of the boss event, you know, it has you know become a part of the regular rounds, you know, to send these you know random. I don't know if they're random or not, but you know these like you know non-traditional fortified Moabs. So you know just just be ready for them. You know you'll be fine if you have your sticky bombs down. But yeah, I have five of these guys down, so it's kind of cool. You know, five marketplaces. Um, Five banana plantations. Um, yes, I'm not gonna go straight. Uh, assuming I don't have to buy anything else um, for defense, which I hope not. I'm gonna go straight for the first um, banana resource facility. So, okay, we need more defense for round 49. So I'm gonna sell this guy. He's really not doing anything. Um, for 2,000 bucks, I could get a sharpshooter, but then I think what would what would deal with the regrow farm better is a. Um, a tax shooter, which I, I will actually want later, you know, because uh, I'll probably get a tax or something for the second, maybe also the third boss. So let's go for even faster shooting, um, tax prayer, and let's actually get an overdrive as soon as we can afford it, which I, I hope will be soon this round. I hope that it's going to be by the time the regrow rainbows come around. So I have my five plantations round. Um, I'm going for the resource facilities, but then before that, I'm going to put down a a camel village so just put that over here that should be enough um i could get jungle drums right now i'll probably get that later because i want to get my um brfs going first first brf on round 53 second brf right now um round 56 i hope we're not a little behind but we'll see okay here's the plan i'm gonna go for the druid strat so start with the druid over here this guy is gonna be the avatar of wrath okay so I'll get this guy up to Thorn Swarm and um, Pop List right now. We have a regrow farm. Holy crap, I, I didn't expect that. Uh, okay, I will continue the rounds um, you know, just so it's, I guess, kind of realistic. Um, for the regrow farm, what can I do? Should I just get Jungle Drums right now? Yeah, I think it's a good time. So, Oh, actually, we can get this. Yeah, primary training is not... Um, does not um, help leech actually so why don't I actually throw down another sticky and see what happens so okay so I've got a bunch of uh, BRF sound I think that's probably all we can get down so I'm gonna go for the monkeyopolis uh, whole thing so basically get big radius uh, monkey town as soon as, I, as soon as I can afford it um, I've put down another village for more range um, what I want to do also is put down an engineer monkey because I want to overclock this village and increase its range to the point where it can absorb more farms basically okay i believe we can overclock now we have the money so i will overclock this guy Thirty thousand. okay that's decent okay we need a little bit more defense over here um i think it's actually a good time to grab the grandmaster ninja so i would say sell this and let's put a grandmaster ninja over here this might be the paragon by the way okay yes there it is banana central we got it. All right, let's go. So no overclock right now. I will not do that. Or actually, hang on. If the boss has not taken any health yet, then I can actually overclock. I mean, why not, right? Anyways, let's get the Avatar of Wrath right now. He is times five. Uh, pop listed and everything. Uh, what else do we need though? Tax zone. Yes, I want to go for a tax zone in re in range of the mentoring. Yes, I right, got the tax zone. Nice. No overclocking, by the way. I'm not overclocking anything. I'm going to put down a super brittle. I can do this, actually. Hang on. I want to get the monkey city, because that's going to increase the overall output from the banana central. So, okay, I think I have enough of these down. So now, um, I'm going to get all of these to tier 4. But first, what I want to do, because I want to get pops, is I'm going to get this guy up to um, Master Bomber, yes. That's going to get us a lot of pops. This guy's gonna get to, uh, yeah, what's it called? Yeah, Gram Saboteur. And now I'm just gonna get all the rest of these to Tier 4 Balloon Sabotage. Okay, so we have like 40 of these things now, more than 40 actually. So we, I know we don't actually need more. I believe the, num the actual number is just like 31 or something. So I'm gonna stop over there. Um, so some ninjas are just lying over here, it's okay. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna save up money for the Ninja Paragon. So in order to do that, I want to um, constantly overclock the banana central, okay? Uh, for that, you know, in fact, I can actually put down two overclocks, so I will do that. Um, and yeah, basically just keep um, 
Overclocking the Banana Central. Okay, so round 98 now. Um, I might be a touch short of money for the Paragon, so because we bought way too many um, of these Sabos, way more than we actually need, I'm just gonna sell a few of them, because why the hell not? Oh, dude, yeah, <laughs> 31. Okay, guys, $600,000. Yeah, let's get it. Let's go. See what the level is? 35. Not bad, guys. And yeah, we are smoking this thing. That was just, you know, one master bomb from the Paragon. And he's basically... Yeah. <laughs> I want to see how fast this goes down. He's, like, basically doing almost one tier of damage per shot, pretty much. That is unfreaking believable. Um, what we're going to do in the meantime is we can now uh, make a Dark Paragon. Alright, so I've gotten all the towers I need down for the Dark Paragon. I'm not going to buy the Paragon yet. I just want to, you know get some pops first i guess so here's where it gets interesting so you might be thinking you know i'm gonna get my dark paragon first and then go for the boomerang paragon instead what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put down a couple of uh like you know these guys first just just to start getting pops for the boomerang paragon so I'll put one more down uh, this one can be like a perma charge yeah where do i want the paragon location to be i think yeah this is good so Nice place, yeah. Oh, hang on. Let's sell all this. Who needs all this, right? Avatar, Frat, you know, Poplus, Druids. We don't need any of those. So I'm just going to clean the screen right now. Okay, I've put all of my boomerangs down. I think we actually do have enough pops for the Dark Paragon. So I'm going to get this right now. I, I do hope we've done a good job and it's going to be at least level 30. Nice, good stuff. Okay, we've put down all of the tier 4s we need. You know, 34, 35 or something. More than enough. Um, yeah, that, that, that's it guys. All we do now is save up for the Boomerang Paragon, buy it, and GG, we're good. Alright guys, here it is. Boomerang. Oh, hang on. We're, we're 50k short. Let's actually sell this thing. We don't need this anymore, so... Glaive Dominus, let's go. All three Paragons. These three guys over here. We have everyone we need right now. Because we have Benjamin, we have all of the lives we need, so... We don't have to worry about the soul balloon or whatever, you know, leaking up our lives. And yes, with 400 lives, 400 lives to go, we destroy the boss. Or hang on, they, they, they still want to send some balloons? Okay, bring them on. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. It means the world to me. I'm going to upload Elite tomorrow, a guide. Um, hopefully no monkey knowledge and no lives lost if possible. When I say no lives lost, you know, I don't mean, you know, the ghost balloon. The ghost balloon will leak some lives, can't help that. But then what I mean is, you know, no balloons exiting the map. So I'll, I'll be doing that tomorrow. Uh, please subscribe if you like my videos. And thank you so much for watching.